Hey, what's up YouTube? In this problem we're going to solve a partial differential equation and we're going to use a really uh, clever trick. So we have uxx uh, plus u equals zero. So here u is a function of two variables. So u can be thought of as u of x, y. ux, this is the first partial derivative of u with respect to x. And uxx uh, is the second partial derivative of u with respect to x. So here again, u is a function of two variables. So um, the trick we're going to use uh, is we're going to fix y. So if we fix y uh, and pretend it's constant, we can think of this as a function of one variable. So you can think of this as u double prime um, plus u equals zero. Then we can use our ODE skills to solve this like pros. So recall that when you have something like this, like say you had y double prime plus y equals zero, right? You would start by finding what's called the characteristic or the auxiliary equation. So that would be m squared, right? It matches the order plus one equals zero. And so we'll do the same thing here. So m squared plus one equals zero. Now we'll subtract one from both sides. So m squared um, is equal to negative one, okay? Then we'll take the square root, square root, and so we get m equals uh, plus, plus or minus i, going kind of quick, uh, but that's okay, this is, uh, this is PDEs. <laughs> um, so you can think of this as uh, zero plus or minus one i. And I'll refresh your memory, whenever you have complex uh, roots uh, to the characteristic uh, equation, the answer takes the form y equals c1 e to the alpha x cosine beta x plus c2 e to the alpha x sine beta x. And in this problem here, um, this is alpha plus or minus beta i. So alpha is 0 and beta is 1. So if you've taken a course in DE, you can solve this in 30 seconds, uh, maybe. Uh, but it's just good review, so good review here. So e to the 0 is 1, so we get c1. Beta is 1, so we get cosine x plus c2 um, sine x. So in our problem, it's not y, uh, it's u, okay? Also in our problem, we have a partial differential equation. So these constants are unknown functions of the other variable. So they're gonna be unknown functions of y. So the answer to the DE is gonna be exactly the same, except it'll be f of y times cosine x plus g of y and other, another unknown constant of the other variable times sine x. And this here is the solution to the PDE. So you basically pretend it's an ODE, right? You solve it using the techniques from DE, and then you replace your constants with arbitrary functions of the other variable, right? Because we had uxx, we have uh, functions of y. Conversely, if it had been, say, uyy plus u equals zero, then you would have f of x down here instead of f of y, and then you would have g of x down here instead of g of y. So you can use your, your ODE skills uh, to solve PDE skill, PDEs uh, in very special, special situations, and um, this is one of them. So I hope that made a little bit of sense. That's it.